Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 160. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now with the Amalfi Class R3 event. Uh, this is where we're going to do the, the time trial things. We're taking an R3 car. These these things are going to get quicker and quicker. Like, there's going to be a point where I'm going to be putting two events in one episode, I think. Because I'm blitzing through these. Um, but we're going to start off with Rally di Positano. We're going to start with stage C, then B, then A, and then C. So, we're going to go through all sorts of different stages now. A. A. R. I was waiting for that beat drop. I think it's the end of the song. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm just vibing. I'm having fun. I'm a bit disappointed that they've got R3 cars around here. I want to take the fast... Oh, uh, to be fair, this is quite a narrow, windy road, so anything faster than this probably would be a nightmare to drive. Strength Motorsport just does not make sense at all. But apparently, that's what it means. I don't know whether... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know whether it's strength or strong. But either one sounds weird. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else agree that Crew 3 should be set in the UK? That would be sick. I've already actually played Motorfest. I am part of the insider program. I can't give too many details. Um, because obviously under NDA you get in trouble if you say stuff that you're not supposed to. But what I will say is the map um, obviously it's based in Hawaii. That's public information already. So it's no surprise. But the quality of the map's actually quite good. I'll be honest, it's quite a nice quality map. So it's, it's nothing that's going to be like, oh, this is shit. It's actually quite decent. So I I got no complaints with it being in Hawaii, to be honest. I will also agree, though, that we need a game based in the UK. Because the UK has such a wide variety of different roads. Shit. Yeah, the UK has a wide variety of different roads. It's got, um... What's it called? You've got country roads where you've got lots of fields. You've got... There's a type of road that I don't see anywhere else other than the UK. Like, whenever you look at things, you don't really see it in the UK. We have this type of road where they go through forests. And it feels like you're in a in a tunnel, but the tunnel is just the tree canopies and everything. So you're in this like tunnel of trees, and it can go on for like three, four miles, and then all of a sudden you're at a different city because you've just driven straight through a forest. Like I don't really see many other places. Like you don't see that in Italy. You don't see that. Like that's that's quite a common occurrence in. UK, where when you get to the outskirts of two different cities, they're just joined by this, like, forest tunnel. Like, obviously it's not a tunnel, it's just a road's been built straight between a bunch of trees, but 
if it gives you the experience of you're in a tunnel. And the thing is, if you if you look at that, if you're wanting a game to show off ray tracing and god rays and whatnot, that's how you do it. Tree canopies and whatnot. That would be ideal. That'd be awesome. Um, you've obviously got those kind of roads. You've got cities. You've got towns. You've got villages. Uh, and then on top of that, you have like actual racetracks in the UK as well. Some really good racetracks. You've got Brands Hatch. You've got Knock Hill. Um, Silverstone. How did I forget Silverstone? There, there are some good tracks here in the UK. So it's not like the UK doesn't have good racetrack. I, I think even if it's not the Crew 3 that has that content, that has the UK, having... Obviously, if a game had that and say in the UK did something like that, like the Crew's scale, I think that game would do wonders. Obviously, Test Drive's going to be in Hong Kong Island, so that doesn't matter anymore. It won't be Test Drive that does it. Like, I, I always complain about the UK, and I'm like, oh, the UK is such a shithole. It's such a shithole. But when, when you look at it from an outside... When you look at the UK from an outside perspective, you actually realise we've got quite a nice variety and it could be quite a nice setting for something. Except Bristol. We'll stay away from Bristol. <laughs> uh, this is a joke, by the way. A lot of places in Swindon are pretty bad. In the UK. Including Swindon, where I'm from. It's a shithole. But... A new mod map for a set of Corsa is coming out. That's an English town. That would be pretty. That would be pretty sick, actually. That would be awesome. Genuinely considering moving to the UK in a couple of years. And I don't know whether it's worth living here. To be fair, um, it's it's expensive at the moment. Like our cost of living is unbelievably high for the UK. Like I kid you not, the electricity is unbelievably high. Gas is unbelievably high. Uh, the only thing that I have found that's actually reasonably priced compared to everywhere else is my internet package at the moment is a reasonable price for the speed that I'm getting. Like, I'm getting 500 megabits, so I'm on fiber. I'm on fiber connections. I can... This is why this stream is, like, high quality now. Because I got the connection to do it. I could do it in 4K, but it's kind of pointless. My webcam only does 1080p, and the game itself is, like, 720p. That's just, like, asking for your computer to blow up <laughs> it's mad let's get straight into it no normally what i do is i cut the recording but because i've just talked over the loading screen i i'm just gonna have one long clip <laughs> move somewhere up north up no the further up north you go, the better it is. Um, the further south you go, the more expensive it is. Which makes no sense. Like, because down south, it's a shit off. But it's also a lot more expensive. Which makes no sense. Like, surely you would expect a cheaper, shittier place to be. Cheaper? But it's not. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm kind of screwed, money-wise, that I'm basically stuck where I am. Like, I can't really be looking for another job. I can't 
and don't have the money to move, I would totally move further up north, but... Can you get out of the way? Thank you, arsehole. Bloody hell, that was quick. That felt really short. Why did that feel really short? That was insanely short. Bloody hell. So the city I live in now has like 600k population, so something a little smaller than that, probably. Uh, I'm trying to think. 600... Are you in Stockholm? Because I assume Stockholm's got quite a lot of people. Gothenburg. Ah, fair enough. It's obviously Stock Stockholm's the largest, isn't it? Is it? I think it's the largest. I got family that live just outside of Stockholm. Um, they're sort of like, wow, they they are cousins, so they're not like direct family, but they're still family. So. I've also got family in Australia that's more direct than the, uh, what's it called? Um, the Swedish cousins. I think it's my... What happens when I restart? Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna restart. <laughs> that's mad. Yeah, so... Stockholm might be a 1.7 I don't... <laughs> hmm. That's crazy. The fact the difference between the largest and the second largest is that many people. Yeah, so we recently found out that we've actually got family in Australia, which is damn, which is insane. Oh, it's a different car now. When you restart the race, it's a different car. Strange. What did it do today? Did nothing. Why didn't you go to school? I didn't go. Why didn't you go to school? I don't know it's true. Do you know nothing? It's cool. Do you know nothing? I won't. To know nothing. It's cool to know nothing. Take a look, take a look, take a look at the kids on the street. Miss a beat. No, they never miss a beat. I love this song. Kaiser Chiefs are actually really, really good. But I think their older stuff is a lot better. Their newer stuff is a little meh. I'll be totally honest.
Yeah, they are really good. Kaiser Chiefs are brilliant. It's cool. I'm from Newcastle. I can't do accents. It's terrible. The thing that is, does blow my mind about the UK is the fact that we have so many accents. Like, you look at America, you have pretty much... You've got a southern accent, you've got a northern accent, you've got a redneck accent, and a standard American accent. But that's four accents in a space that large. Which, I mean, fair enough, there's quite a few accents, but that's, that's pretty much America. When you look at the UK, there are... There are 100 accents in the space of about that big. I can go 30 miles that way and I've got a different accent. I go 30 miles that way, I've got a different accent. You go 30 miles that way, it's a different accent again. Like, that's the UK. The UK has so many accents. It's unreal. The guy down, down that way, different accent. The lady that way, different accent. The cheeseburger that way probably has an accent, let's be honest. <laughs> Even the food has accents. Oh, is this XYZ? I think this is XYZ. Yes! XYZ. I love this. Is this a new Rome remix? Then? I think it's a new Rome remix version. Which is better than the original. But the original is such a good This is a Nero version. This is one of the best songs that Nero has made for now. Obviously it's a remix, but... Such a good song. The further south you are, the posher you sound, yet the worse off you are. It's really confusing. The entire of the UK makes no sense.
boop boop boop. Boop beep boop beep boop. Such a tune. I love it. I can't believe once you've pretty much done like 20% of the game, you're already at max level. I'm really thirsty, but I don't want to down the energy drink. It is pretty funny. quite easy to do, to just make a variety of different events, give us a load of cars, and you just get a choice. But, I don't know. Give us a very run in the first 10 minutes of gameplay. Well, from the career mode, by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, falls are sick. Apparently, everyone pretty much got that. Like, a load of people got the Veyron in the first two wheel spins. I got it. And I watched a YouTuber when falls are sick came out. And he got it as well. That seems crazy, the fact that the Veyron was available so soon. Yeah, I'm very, very much a fan. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of coffee. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very much a fan of the um, sprint format. I think it's good because it means on Friday, Saturday and Sunday you have something to do. Like, you've got something to watch. So for the entire weekend, you've got a little bit of calling, which is an insane amount of excitement, let's be real. Then you've got a first race, a short race, which is good for on the Saturday. A lot of people are normally doing quite a bit on a Saturday, so it makes sense why the race is shorter as well. This is a short little burst of racing. Half an hour's worth of racing. That's quite cool. And then the full race on Sunday. A day where most people have off and are chilling. Like, I, d I, I think it's a good format. But so many diehard Formula 1 fans are like, no, it must be P1, P2, P3, and then quality, and then the race. It can't be any other way. And I just think, that's fucking stupid. Like, I think all... They need to do a season where all the races are sprint races. Because I think people will realise that actually it's quite good. But at the moment, they're just drip-feeding it. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, today we're doing a sprint race. Ah, oh, why? And then people are annoyed about it. I think the sprint race is really good. So yeah, just straight up give us sprint races for every race. Every race we can make it quality sprint race race. And then the P1, P2 mix in between it. Why not? I also think we should do qualifying where it's one person on the track at a time. Obviously it wouldn't be like one person on the track at a time. They'd do like groups of five. So you'd have the first five 
drivers go on and then the second lot of five. But it would be like a driver goes on and then 15 seconds later, another driver. 15 or 10 seconds later. 10 seconds should be enough of a gap that they can all get on and do an entire lap. I think they should do that. Or even, um, what's it called? Um, apparently they used to do just one driver at a time and you obviously had the drivers were going at full speed and on television they would just watch it, this one driver do an entire lap and then they go to the next driver do an entire lap. I think that'd be a good idea. One shot qualifying. It means that if you mess up your lap, you've messed it up. Because again, if you've got your sprint race and you do one shot qualifying, you have the sprint race to give yourself a chance to get positions to then have a decent position in the race. The main race where most of the points are. Like, I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't do it. I think it's a great idea. Also, I've never watched MotoGP. I've never been able to get into bike racing. I can't get into it. I am a massive fan of the WRC at the moment. The World Rally Championship is really good. Come with it now. Come with it now. Come with it now. It's either come with it now or quit it now. And I'm not sure which one it is now. That five side of this the car. I love the idea of there being a game. I want there to be a game where... I don't know how they do it, but one developer who's very well known, say iRacing for example, they make a video game, a one-off video game, not a subscription model, right, where they put career modes in. They make a game, it starts out like a hub. So you load the game, it's like a hub. And you say, right, I want a, I want a Formula One campaign for the 2022 season. And you buy Formula One 2022. Obviously, this is an example. You, they probably wouldn't get Formula One licenses, but I want this season, right? And it'll cost you 15.99 for every season that you buy. You buy this season, and you can play it whenever you want. It's a one-off payment. Again trying to get away from the subscription idea and once you've bought it it's all in this hub you download the content that you need you play it you can download delete but it's all in this one thing you can have indycar nascar whatever and as soon as like the seasons are at a certain point in the season say for example i don't know but once a year you get an updated version every single time I think that would be so, 
so awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Ah!